So then guys, gonna start off by getting some rigs ready. Got my rig wallet here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chuck out a uh, pulley rig and one on a running ledger with a rock bottom on it. I think I've got one already here. That one looks like it's already tied up. Yeah, that looks like two four row catfish hooks. So gonna go with a uh, pulley panel. And on the second one, I'll probably put out a slightly larger bait. I'm just gonna go with a, uh, I think this is a 150 pound trace. Just gonna put one out for an eel or a husk. Just lob out a bait fairly close. Hope for the best, I think. So I've got a couple of eight ounces. I've already got a rotten bottom on that. And uh, that'll be sound for fairly close in, eight ounce with a little rotten bottom for the running ledger. I'm just gonna drop that bait in, I think, just past the swell. And then I'll go with this uh, slightly bigger grip lead for the pulley rig and uh, hopefully whole bottom out there. There's still a little bit of tide, but should be all right. So guys, just gonna clip on the pulley rig and then we'll get cracking. So we've got some scad, some squid, and some bream. I think I'm gonna start off with a uh, small scad, I think. Probably pinch that Fergie's one. This one here, <laughs> I'll pinch that for my other rod, I think. But for this bait. gonna go with that see how we get on with that on the pulley Fergie's had the uh, first bait strip of the session I've not even got a bait out Daniel's got one out and he's That's already my weight and I think a little little conger's picked it up and uh oh he's bit through you know, is he spun it up like the line look he's just twisted on it Must oh be yeah a little whip or something smashed it up <laughs> is that your scratching rig That's is the it first cast on the scratching rig <laughs> <laughs> there's a few around There we go guys, hopefully you can see that. That's the uh, rotten bottom clip that I'm using down to a uh, trident uh, big bait clip. And then it's literally just a pulley rig that I'm using tonight, which is all tangled up because I'm in a bit of a rush to get a bait out. And that's got two catfish, four rows, Farabas catfish hooks on the bottom so what I'm gonna do now is bait this uh, this scad up so I'll put the first hook probably about there pull it through put that like that They'll be baited up like that, I'll wax some bait elastic on that and we'll ping it out. Very hasty bait this. <laughs> Get out a big scab bait. Hopefully find a hass or something. Mostly just chucking my elastic round the eye of that hook. It's not very straight the way I've baited it, but more on that. Your bait elastic's a bit old, Chegs. Look like everything in my tackle box. <laughs> oh, that will do anyway. Chegg? Yep. All right, let's get this one out. There we go, guys. 
That's the big bait getting ready to go out. I don't know how this is going to go, Fergs. I'm sure it's going to go just fine. I've not cast out this rod. Just go, go, just go for a lot, mate. Let's get the other rod set up. Let's just get this baited up nice and simply, just gonna go straight through the head once with this scad bait. It's gonna go straight through like that, guys. Hopefully that's alright. Then we're just gonna lob it out. Yeah, it's a little bit. So that's both the rods out now guys. I'll quickly run through the setups I'm using tonight. I've got the uh, Ron Thompson exhilarators and uh, I'm trialing out some fixed spools on them. I've got the uh, Daiwa BG um, 8000s on there and they're loaded with uh, I believe it's a 28 pound uh, Varavas uh, Sport it might even be 30 pound that I've got on there and uh, you can't see it because it's out there right now <laughs> but I've got a uh, a link between my uh, main line to my leader and that's a Bimini twist and that goes to 80 pound um, rubber leader so yeah there's the setups for tonight guys haven't used this sort of gear for about three or four years now um so hopefully we can get something um like i say usually i'd use multipliers on this like some sloshes slosh 30s slosh 40s but thought i'd try something a little bit different and uh try some fixed balls on them even though they're wrong for multiplier they seem to be all right actually so they seem to cast all right see if we can winch a fish up on them Fergie's had the first fish of the evening. A nice slippery whip of an eel. Slippery whip on the scratching rod. On the scratching rig, that, yeah? Yeah. Nice little whip for Dan there. On the scratching rod, first fish of the night. Yeah, I'm gonna pop him back. Stuff hits You're not gonna chuck him out for bait? No, <laughs> put the nine out, 10-0 through it. 10-0 through it, <laughs> put it on a slider. Probably chop it in half first. Get him back, Jergs. Off he goes. Looks like a bite. Sam to the big slat line bite there. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Big bait. What bait was that on? Oh, sad. Just give it a minute. <laughs> Much weight to it? Nah. Might have off. Feel like it's kicking back. You know, there it is on the surface. It's an, it's an eel. Nah, it's fast, is it? Nah, it's. It's going nuts now, it's a husk. It's not a husk. I think. Is it new? It might be a house. You got, I think. Wait, it is a house, mate. It is, I think. Uh, should I get the net? Yeah. Or do you want to winch? Oh. Winch. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Ew. Pass. Oh, it's a nice horse. Nice. <laughs> well done, Sam. <laughs> Whose line's that? I don't know. Oh, wait, there. Is that my other one? Because <laughs> <laughs> no, that no, it's not. <laughs> Nice wow. one! <laughs> Fast cast! Fast cast! Sick! First cast for a Huss in four years. <laughs> I don't know what's happened there with the uh... I don't know what that is. It just must be old line on it. Oh well, we can pack up now. <laughs> Head to the pub. <laughs> First chuck out, that's for yeah. sure. Might be some more here. There we go. Hook is out. Hook's out. Daniel's going to get a quick picture. Yeah for me yeah a whole scad on this on the uh, pulley rig just uh, belted it out like i've been saying to fergie we need to try this for ages just turn up and just wing some baits out and just hope for the best and it's pretty much what we're doing tonight and uh, first chuck out first uh, heavy fishing session off the rocks for me for a while and uh, come up trump so yeah uh, yeah let's see what else we can get this evening we're only about 10 minutes into our cast so yeah, let's get him back and um, yeah. let's get another bait out there, eh, folks? Let's do it. Let's go. Fergie's into a snag as well. Unfortunately, guys, if you've not done this sort of rough ground fishing before, this is pretty much part and parcel of it all. Trying Actually, to pull for a break. Was on for about five minutes whilst you were getting yeah. <laughs> Daniel's kindly got his line snagged for me whilst he was uh, potentially helping oh, me to I land this house. <laughs> he's just got his rotten bottom out you sort of and the fish have to pull for a break here he's got something on every cast has been a fish so far it's another eel i think probably a whip what have you got there chad probably another whip are you gonna winch oh, of course yeah it's another whip another whip yeah, it is. is that on the scratcher yeah looks like it's a it's on for live bait. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit wrapped up that one, mate. I'll sort it out and put it back. <laughs> so guys, just about to uh, put my bait back out. And uh, Fergie's rod just arched over. Okay, leave it out for a bit longer guys see if anything uh, decides to take that again still yet to uh, get a bite on the uh, running ledger rod guys that's in quite quite close in there's a nice little bit of swell there as well so there is a chance if a bass decides to come around the corner swimming around the rocks there there's a chance it could pick that one up I've literally not even had time to put my uh, my glow tips on my uh, rod tip lights that's how quick it's been so far like three eels in for fergie and uh, i've had that half so yeah it's been carnage so far so it's definitely been at your bait dan yeah what's happened there it's like twisted on itself the hook's come back on itself do you reckon eel or it doesn't look twisted it doesn't up look here, twisted. Does it? it might be a hus that Could Twist, be, twisting on it scad same bait you had yours yeah just yeah on. And it's not, look, no twisting really. I reckon that might have been a hus. Yeah, I reckon It was a nice so. pull down as well. Get a lob another scat out, guys. Hopefully, get another hus. Right, let's get this one rebated, guys. I'm gonna go with a, uh, another scad. Get one after, mate.
There we go guys, nice cocooned whole scab there, ready to rock and roll, nice big bait. Out, Jack. Yep. Oh, it's deep there. Very deep there. It's been quite a while guys, so uh, I'm going to reel up my uh, running ledger rig. I have no idea if there's anything on it. It could be snagged. It's quite possibly it's snagged because uh, it's only lobbed out of a short distance and uh, there's quite a bit of swell pumping, so there's a chance it's rolled into a snag or something like that. But I'm going to reel it up and, uh, and give it a go, see what's there. Might be absolutely nothing because I've not seen a bite on it yet. I just want to check the bait because Fergie's getting quite a few eel bites and I've actually not had an eel bite or anything like that on it so I just want to double check it that felt a bit weird Running ledger, I'll get another pulley out, out I think. Which thing's this, Sam? Two steps. Oh! I need to show you guys this. <laughs> this is a Fergie rig. I expect them. Daniel's going for a Fergie rig. He's basically got a Paternoster, two hook Paternoster, 100 pounds mono down to like a 4 row catfish or chinu hook there I think two nice chunks of mackerel that is very nice Dan uh, it's probably gonna get a hustle that's on that like one. a and then... serious scratching rig right there <laughs> yeah. well Dan looks like he might have another fish on here unfortunately he got his uh, paternoster snagged up but looked like a fish had maybe taken it into a snag so He's yeah. down onto his running ledger, I think this one is. Yeah. Looks like it's something there, mate. I just missed a good bite as well. Just plucking away at it. It's not giving me any strong pulls. I'm just trying to entice it now, like putting it back. It's still trying to grab it. Here. So Dan's just pulling his uh, rig along the bottom. He knows it's not completely snagged up. It's probably in some rough ground, like some kelp. And he's thinking whatever was there having a pluck at it, he's just trying to entice it a little bit. Just by moving the bait just to see if anything pulls I'll back. Just grab it and then pull it away. He's trying to be, get aggressive with it. There's more than one, they'll probably try and pull a bit harder, but it might just be a little whip messing around. Anything? I think gonna leave it. It's just some kelp there. I think it's a, it's a it's good spot. It's a good spot, spot yeah. Just bouncing through kelp it seems so. Put the back Whoa! Like Big that. sight line, you're gonna I'm fill me for a minute. <laughs> this could be another good fish, guys. I had a really good bite before. Lost big slat line, that. Yeah, huge sat line. I had a really good bite before, and then. Uh... Straight into it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. better. That looks like it's pulling back harder than the last time, Sam. Get up on it. And that rod doesn't bend much, does it? Shall I get the net or I'll keep 
We'll wait till I guess we can hold it on the surface down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be another hearse, but be, we just, just got to get it round to the right point. So just keep angling to the right. Just really in this thing. It is another hearse. Is it? Yeah. Oh, no, he's going around the corner. Oh, no, it's an eel. It's an eel. Oh, it's an eel. It's an eel. One off. It's, what? Uh, it's not too bad. But just get it around the corner. That's it. There he is down there. I don't know if you can see him. But he's on the surface. Winch. I think I think you can winch it. Just uh, you got the right rod for it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the right back for it though. <laughs> <laughs> I could always hand it if it feels a bit too heavy. Sometimes because we're quite high up. It's coming up now. I'll try and get some weight off it. Okay, it's an all right one. Just keep going with that, Sam. I'm, hold, I'm holding the GoPro, so. If you pass me the GoPro. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Don't know how big this is, guys, but. That's all right, you know, it's, it's the biggest deal of the That's not too bad, is it? Hey. Ah, it's only a whip for down here, though. No, we're doing all right, guys. Yeah, nice. nice little eel. Some nice kelpy ground out there. Let's get this unhooked and put back. Daniel's in. A lot of swell, guys. What is it? Another reel. They're getting bigger for you though, Dan. Yeah, a little bit. So about 16 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This ain't small. Off he goes. Swam away nicely. Beautiful. Well guys, that's us coming to a, an end of our session now. Um, the swell has increased so much that it's uh, a little bit pointless fishing at the moment. Our line's just getting taken with the swell and stuff. So uh, yeah, we decided we we're just gonna knock it on the head early and that. But um, although a short video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, first big bait session um, out on the rocks and uh, hopefully look forward to doing another one fairly soon. Yeah, as winter sets in, uh, going to be looking to do a bit more of this sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, looking forward to getting out and uh, giving it another go. So I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. Until the next video, until the next session out on the rocks, tight lines, and uh, catch you in the next one.